Hello friends, welcome to Tech Learning YouTube channel. In today's video will we see some important instrumentation interview questions. So let's start the video. The next question is, what is pressure? The force applied to the per unit area is called pressure. Let's understand pressure by an example. If there is an area of 1 cm by 1 cm and 2 kg force is being applied to this area, then the pressure applied to this area will be 2 kg per cm square. Other measurement units of pressure are bar, pascal, mmh2o, psi. What is the set point in instrumentation? In instrumentation, set point is a value of process variable that is desired or to be maintained. Let's see one example. If the temperature of the process needs to be maintained at 80 degrees Celsius, then the set point is 80 degrees Celsius. Let's see another example. If the level of a process fluid in the tank is to be maintained 2.5 meter then, 2.5 meter is the set point. What is PLC? PLC or Programmable Logic Controllers can be defined as an industrial computer. PLC receives signals from various input devices L and it updates the output devices based on the status of the input devices and user written programs. The input devices can be sensors, switches, and transmitters and the output devices can be pumps, motors, valves, lamps and many more. What is the difference between PLC and DCS? PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller while DCS stands for Distributed Control System. PLC and DCS both are used in industrial automation. PLC is used for the automation of any individual plant, process, or machine while DCS is the combination of many powerful controllers and servers. A DCS itself can control a large plant. The various processes of a large plant can be controlled through a single DCS. The next question is, what is a transmitter? An instrumentation transmitter is a device that converts the process variable into standard instrumentation signal like 4 to 20 milliamperes. The signal produced by the transmitter is proportional to the value of the process variable being measured. This 4 to 20 milliamperes current signal could be transmitted to a control system at remote location up to kilometers over two wire system. Why diaphragm seal is used in pressure gauges? The diaphragm seal is used to isolate the gauge from potentially damaging process media like where process flow is corrosive, where process flow comprises slurry, high viscosity, or other material, which can damage the sensing element. Next question is, what are the types of Borden tube? There are three types of Borden tube. Number one, C-type Borden tube. C-type Borden tube is the most widely used Borden tube. It is used for medium to high range pressure measurement. Number two, spiral type Borden tube. It is used in rugged industrial environments where mechanical stress and vibration are common. Number 3. Helical type Borden tube. It is suitable for applications where precise pressure measurement is required like laboratories. The question is, what is the vacuum gauge? A vacuum gauge is a device that measures pressure in a vacuum, which is usually below atmospheric pressure. Question. What is the difference between on-off valve and the control valve? An on-off valve works in two modes, it can be either fully on or fully off. But a control valve is fully controllable, which means a control valve's opening can be controlled anywhere between 0 to 100% or vice versa. On-off valves allow to fully open or stop the flow of fluids, while control valves allow to regulate the flow rate. So these are the basic differences between off What are the open loop and closed loop systems? In the open loop, the process variable is not compared for error detection. In an open loop system, no action is taken in response to the feedback signal. It is simple and easier but not precise. While in a closed control loop, process variable is measured and compared to a set point for error detection. In a closed loop system controller can regulate process variables by using a feedback signal. What is the role of I2P converter in the control valve? I2P converter play a crucial role in control valve. It converter converts an electrical current signal into a pneumatic pressure output. An I2P converter converts 4 to 20 milliamperes current signal to a linear 3 to 15 psi pneumatic signal. What is control valve? 
The control valve, often referred to as the final control element, is a critical part of any control loop. The control valve is a device that can control the flow of process fluids because its opening can be controlled between 0 to 100% in response to a signal from an external control device. The next question is, what are loop-powered devices? The loop-powered devices are electronic devices that can be connected in a transmitter's 4 to 20 mA current loop. Loop-powered devices do not require any separate power source but they are powered by a current loop. Next question is, what is loop error in control loop? Error in control loop is the difference between the measured variable and the set point. Loop error can be either positive or negative. What is P and ID? P and ID stands for piping and instrumentation diagram. P and ID is a detailed schematic diagram which shows interconnected equipment, instrumentation, and piping related components of a physical process flow. The key components and symbols found in P and ID are process equipment, piping, instruments and sensors, valves and pumps. Control and monitoring system. Next question is, what is a DP flow meter? In DP flow meter, flow rate is calculated by measurement of the pressure difference created by the flowing fluid. The differential pressure flow meter works on Bernoulli's equation, which says that the pressure drop across a restriction is a square function of the fluid velocity. In DP flow meter, a restriction is inserted in the pipe to create a pressure drop. Some common types of restrictions are orifice plates, flow nozzles, venturi, and pitot tubes. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and guidance to excel in your upcoming interviews. Remember, preparation is key, so practice these questions and familiarize yourself with the concepts we've covered. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Best of luck in your future interviews, and until next time, keep learning and growing. Thank you for watching.